echoes on the wall. Noises down the hall. Life doesn't frighten me at all. Mean old Mother Goose. Lions on the loose. They don't frighten me at all. Dragons breathing flame on my counterpane. That doesn't frighten me at all. I go boo, make them shoot. I make fun the way they run. Life doesn't frighten me at all. Mama Joyce! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I ain't seen you for 15 years, but now you want to be somebody granddaddy? You somebody daddy? Right now? I don't want him to hear this. Listen, I need you to speak to him. I no. need you to talk to him. No. He has changed. He ain't changed. It's just going to follow us home if you don't deal with it here. Let's get it. He was my first love. It was my first love. Hey, you got flaws, Terrell. Ain't you got flaws? I'm not the same man you used to know before, Terrell. That's what you said, right? Why are you still making excuses for him? If you don't forgive others of their past sins, then you can't be forgiven. Have you asked yourself once, one time, what's best for us? For him? For your grandson? This ain't about him. It's about mom. How we do it? How we do it? Brick by brick, this how we move. I put it on canvas so that I can hold it by the throat. The foundation built with bricks that we were never given. Gentlemen, I'm Karen for Karen and Talks YouTube and podcast channel. Thank you so much for um, speaking with us today. And thank you so much for this film. I love this film. It is beautiful. Um, but what I want you all three of you to talk about is the concept of forgiveness of abs as absolution for the sinner, but also about the, how forgiveness itself can also be a form of control and abuse of the person who has been harmed. So um, Titus, I want you to begin because this is um, partially based on your story. And then we'll have um, Andre and John Earl. Mm, um, you just jumped in there with the heavy questions. Yeah, didn't we? Okay, pretty, we didn't yeah, even yeah, get right. a warm up. Okay, right, all right. right. Boom. Um, uh, I do not believe that forgiveness is absolution. I, I, I don't see those things um, as the same. Um, uh, we, we, we talk and we've had a lot of conversations about the fact that forgiveness is also not necessarily reconciliation. Those two things are not synonyms. Um, and absolution, I don't even think is, on, is, is a part of the conversation. Um, I, I think that to forgive someone, um, the kind of forgiveness anyway that we're talking about in this film is a kind of forgiveness that allows us to unburden ourselves by the things that we carry. So if you have harmed me, then there is a debt. And my forgiveness is the action of saying, you know what? You no longer owe me that. I'm not going to hold that against you. Um, that is not necessarily saying that. And after that, we are going to go fishing together. We are going to go have a drink together. Those don't have to be the same thing. I think it's dangerous. I think it's dangerous. I want to repeat that again. I think it's dangerous when we talk about forgiveness as a synonym for absolution, it is not. There are victims who are harmed in these kinds of situations and they should not be asked to forget these things that have harmed him, them. Uh, in fact, if we pretend like we are supposed to forget those things, oftentimes it does more damage to our psyche than it does to anything at all. And it will just come back to haunt you later. So it's better just not to play that game. Yeah, I think I can't say much better than that. I think that's exactly right. And I think sometimes the language we use around forgiveness can be, maybe needs to be adjusted. You know, we, we often say forgive and forget, but maybe we should be saying things like remember and do better. Mm. Yeah, I totally agree with that. And um, not to be held hostage because of that. 
Mm. Because sometimes you can be held hostage because you feel that, okay, um, I'm holding this in, this, this whole thing about should I forgive this person or not, only because you love them dearly. So I believe that, uh, like Ty said and Andre, I agree with them both that, you know, you definitely have to put boundaries up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree completely. And Andre, I love what I love the way you put that just now. That was beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you.